A federal agent is under arrest, accused of using his position as an ICE agent to sexually abuse immigrants under his supervision. And thanks for joining us tonight at 5 o'clock. I'm Sheree Palello. And I'm Mike Darter. So this agent was in federal court today asking for bond. And WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick was the only reporter there. He joins us live now with what happened in court. Brian. Yeah, Mike, this was basically a bond hearing. Now, the judge ruled he could be free without paying any bond, but prosecutors objected to that because basically, I mean, these are charges so serious, he could be in jail for the rest of his life. Inside federal court where TV cameras are not allowed, former ICE agent Andrew Golubic pleads not guilty to allegations that he sexually assaulted immigrants under his supervision. He's been indicted in the seven count indictment. He's been charged with sexually assaulting uh, two women uh, amongst a number of other things. United States attorney uh, Kenneth Parker says Golubic was in a position of power over the women. He is in a position of authority, at least he was. And he was taking advantage of some very vulnerable individuals and uh, pretty much sexually assaulting them. We cannot allow that to happen. Federal court documents say Golubic was an ICE agent from 2015 to 2020. He supervised asylum seekers and immigrants with powerful discretion like determining monitoring and level of supervision. Golubic could even recommend if someone should be deported or detained. So deportation is its own fear and its own creature, um, potentially being deported back to a country where your life is in danger. That's pretty awful. But throw into the mix the detention um, that can also occur. Alexandria Lubin's Otto is managing attorney for the Immigrant and Refugee Law Center, not part of the case. These are allegations, and I appreciate that. But if proven, we're talking about a criminal who got a badge. In federal court, prosecutors said Golubic is a significant danger to the community and that there could be even more victims. I believe there will be more victims. Um, I, I think that's indicated. Um, but I hope that it isn't just the tip of a very large iceberg. I hope that. Yeah, so for now, Golubic remains in jail. Now there will be another hearing to determine if he gets out on that OR bond. In other words, wouldn't have to pay anything to be out on bond. That date has not been set yet. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.